Welcome to today's daily Bible reading for February 15th. We'll begin in Exodus chapter 39, verse 1. And of the blue and purple and scarlet they made cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the ephod of gold, blue and purple and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates, and cut into wires, to work it in the blue, and the purple, and the scarlet, and in the fine linen, with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it, to couple it together, by the two edges was it coupled together. And the curious girdle of his ephod that was upon it was of the same, according to the work thereof, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in, touch, in ouches of gold, graven as signets are graven with the names of the children of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for memorial to the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was four square, they made the breastplate double, a span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being doubled. And they set it in four rows of stones, the first row was a sardis, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This was the first row, and the second row an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond and the third row a ligure, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name according to the twelve tribes. And they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends of wreath and work of pure gold. And they made two ouches of gold and two rings of two gold rings, and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two wreath and chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. And the two ends of the two wreath and chains they fastened in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold, and put them on the two ends of the breastplate upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. And they made two other golden rings, and put them on the other side. And they made two other golden rings, and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath. <clears throat> Toward the four part of it over against the other coupling thereof above the curious girdle of the ephod and they did bind the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod and the breastplate might not be loosed from the ephod as the lord commanded moses and he made the robe of the ephod of woven work all of blue and there was a hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole of a harbour gone, with a band round about the hole, that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and twined linen. And they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe, round about between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, round about the hem of the robe, to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made coats of fine linen of woven work for Aaron and for his sons, and a mitre of fine linen, and goodly bonnets of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twined linen, and a girdle of fine twined linen, and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing like to the engravings of a signet, Holiness to the Lord. And they tied unto it a lace of blue, to fasten it on high upon the mitre, as the Lord commanded Moses. 
Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished, and the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. And they brought the tabernacle unto Moses, the tent, and all his furniture, his tacks and his boards, his bars and his pillars and his sockets. And the covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of badger skins, and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony, and the staves thereof, and the mercy seat, the table and all the vessels thereof, and the showbread, the pure candlestick with the lamps thereof, even with the lamps to be set in order, and all the vessels thereof, and oil for light, and the golden altar, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the tabernacle door, the brazen altar, and his gate of brass, his staves, and all his vessels, the laver, and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars, and his sockets, and the hanging for the court gate, his cords, and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the congregation, the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron, the priest, and his son's garment to minister in the priest's office. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. And Moses did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and thou shalt put therein the ark of testimony, and cover the ark with the veil, and thou shalt bring in the table, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. And thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and light the lamps thereof, and thou shalt set the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony, and put the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and shalt put water therein. And thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hanging at the court gate. And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle and all that is therein, and shall hallow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint the altar of the burnt offering, and all the vessels, and, the sanct and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most holy. And thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot, and sanctify it. And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments, and anoint him, and sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt bring his sons, and clothe them with coats. And thou shalt anoint them, as thou didst anoint their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, for their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month and the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. And Moses reared up the tabernacle, and fastened his sockets, and set up the boards thereof, and put in the bars thereof, and reared up his pillars. And he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent above it, and as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he took and put the testimony into the ark, and set the staves on the ark, and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the table in the tent of the congregation, upon the side of the tabernacle northward, without the veil. And he set the bread in order upon it before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. And he lighted the lamps before the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. And he put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. And he burnt sweet incense thereon as the Lord commanded Moses. And he set up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and offered upon it the burnt offering and the meat offering as the Lord commanded Moses. 
and he set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and put water there to wash withal. And Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereat. When they went into the tent of congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses. And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate, so Moses finished the work. Then a cloud covered the tent of congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation, because the cloud abode thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and the fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. And now we'll go to Mark chapter 1, starting in verse 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness, and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. And preach, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Now as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, who were also in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Leave us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who, art, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. And now we'll go to Psalms. Chapter 35. Verse 1 through 16. 
plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned unto mine own bosom. I have behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me, and cease not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 11 and 12. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shall bear it.